welcome to your December 13th to 18th, 2018 love reading. Again, this is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It's general reading. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. I've been shuffling your cards like crazy. They're almost ready to fall out. I can feel it here. For those of you returning, welcome back. Thank you so much. Thank you so, so much for helping my channel to grow. Your cards are already starting to fall out. Okay, you could be dealing with Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Leo, please, if you haven't yet and you're brand new here, please like, subscribe, and share. There's a little bell notification down in the corner when you click the arrow down button. It's right down below the video. You can click down, open the whole description box, and find out all my information there. My website is shaysee.com, S-H-A-S-I-E.com. If you'd like a private reading, if this doesn't resonate for you, you can certainly do that. There's lots of different options there for you. And I can check your moon and rising for you. You don't need to worry about calculating that. I can do that for you. I'm just waiting for a few more cards to drop out. If this resonates for you, fantastic. I will do an extended reading. You may be interested in that. Uh, it's a small purchase price. It's almost less than half the price right now. And it's, it's a great, fantastic deal because it's almost another 15-minute video, plus or minus. And I pull a lot more cards. I, I pull cards from the Doreen Virtue Romance Angels. Okay, so we'll get some information from from those which is really helpful and then my favorite are my enchanted tarot i've had these for 20 to 25 years and these really jump out for me so you might want to take advantage of that as well as some messages from the angels any guidance messages from the angels is also by doreen virtue it's the oracle cards okay just waiting for some more cards to drop out so so far what i'm seeing is the queen of pentacles if you have a Queen of Pentacles in your life, and it could be female or male, it doesn't matter. It's somebody taking on the energy of the Queen of Pentacles. It's someone who's very grounded, very structured in terms of being down to earth and loving, yet very um, structured in terms of watching their money uh, focused on long-term stability and structure. And uh, to the Queen of Pentacles, and again, female or male, does not matter. It's the energy of this queen of being very grounded. They believe in the institution of marriage and tradition, and, and earth signs always do. They believe in structure and stability. Stability plays a huge part. That's for Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. And then we have the Page of Pentacles. Now, this is usually signifies some kind of messenger that wants to come in with either a brand new career opportunity, a brand new business, um, money, expected money coming in. Maybe you're waiting for some money to come in, an inheritance or, um, you know, money from a job that was done. Any kind of money news that you can think of, okay? You could be dealing with a Taurus, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn that's waiting for money news to come in, or it could be you. You have the Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands, Wands is all about fire energy, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries, which is yourself. This can signify actual travel, like air travel. It can be fast-moving messages if somebody's, or you, or you're, you're uh, texting or messaging or back and forth with a love interest, whoever you're thinking about. Some kind of communication, whether it be through actually traveling to see each other, which means you could be at a distance from one another. Okay, so take that how it resonates. It's forward movement. Wands is about actual mobility, forward movement, okay? <clears throat> so there could be somebody a distance from you. It may be an earth sign, quite possibly, or it could be separate. You're just waiting for some money news on something. Okay, wow. Here we go. Okay, you have the Scorpio card of death. This is major arcana. Major arcana means that something major is happening in your life or your love interest life. Take it how it resonates. It's death and transformation, okay? Scorpio is all about death and transformation and starting new, okay? They're used to starting new. They're used to something ending and something beginning. They're all about death and transformation. There may be a relationship ending, either yours or someone else's, and it's a brand new beginning. Somebody may be traveling to give the news, okay? It could be that somebody passed away even, and now there's an inheritance, right? And somebody's traveling or sending you messages or news that somebody passed away, and there's an inheritance. It could be a message from a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, okay? It's the ending and beginning of something, whether it be a business, a relationship, um, somebody's life ended, Something is causing a change in somebody's life that is significant. 
you have Hangman, another major arcana. Being in Hangman uh, status here is basically taking time to just do that. See, this guy's hanging upside down. He's thinking he's not going anywhere. He's thinking, he's contemplating, deciding the next move, he or she, being enlightened. Again, going through some kind of transition, okay? Getting a unique perspective on whatever it was that just occurred. And that could be you, it could be your love interest, whoever you're thinking about. If this doesn't resonate for you, don't force it. If it resonates for you, fantastic. Some of this will occur, you know, um, weeks from now, days from now, six months from now, something may have occurred two weeks ago. So you just kind of have to take it how it resonates. If you're feeling any of this energy, then definitely this reading's for you. If you're not feeling any of this, then this reading's probably not for you, but maybe the next one will be. So you can hit that description box and a bell. If you're on your mobile, there'll be a bell down there you can click on. It'll give you further notifications. Whether it resonates for you or not, you may want to check your reading next week and find out and maybe it will, okay? You have the Five of Swords. Swords is all about mental energy, okay? About thinking. And this gentleman here standing up, and he's, uh, you know, he was just in a battle. And these other guys have thrown down their swords. So they, they've quit. They're done battling. And he's standing strong with a little smirk on his face, you know, saying, I'm standing strong here. I'm ready to fight again. But he's got his sword upside down. So he knows that the fight for now is finished. The conflict is done. The conflict is over. These guys have thrown down their swords. He has his up in the air. There's no fighting right now. Okay, so that tells me that, you know, perhaps things are starting to smooth out a little bit in whatever conflict there was, either for you or your love interest or both of you. That could be. Let's continue. If this resonates for you, you'll definitely want to take, wow, you'll definitely want to take advantage of, of the extended read. You have a tower moment here, another major arcana. So something definitely did end here. Okay. First, you have the death card, which is an ending, transformation, and now you've got the tower card. So this is definitely a major um, event that's happening either in your life or your love interest. Something is ending. Something has ended or is going to end, okay? And that could be what this news is about. Now, how it ended, what it ended, whether it was a relationship like I was saying or somebody passed away, okay? There's money news, and it might be a separate issue. Okay, this might be a relationship that ended, and this might be separate career money news, okay? Because don't forget, this can be vice versa, these energies, right? But something's definitely ended here, without a doubt, or if it hasn't yet, it could. In two months, six months, this reading is timeless. Whenever you're feeling this energy, it's for you, okay? But let's continue on here. Again, you may want to consider that extended read, because in there, I, I pull some clarifying cards from the other decks, like the Colette Baron read. Sometimes we'll get double confirmation, like we'll get a, another tower card or another death card, and then it definitely, to me, without a doubt, signifies that's what's happening in your life, okay? And if not yet, it could be in the future. And same with the Enchanted Tarot. These ones, again, 20 to 25 years old, they will double clarify some of these cards or give you more insight, okay? So let's continue on. Wow, tell me what's going on, Leo. Something's ending. With ending comes new beginning, so we'll probably get some aces here, but we'll, we'll see what's going on here. Leo, please, in love. Please clarify the tower card for Leo. Why is the tower card here, please? December 13th to 18th, 2018. Leo, please. Seven of Wands. See, this guy's up on the hill. And again, this is your card, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. It's fire energy. He's standing on the hill, but he's standing strong. He's not giving up the fight. Here, the swords were being laid down, okay? So there's still some conflict going on here. So whether that's you or your love interest, both of you at different times during the relationship, if, if you're in a relationship right now or if they're in a relationship and they're just ending it, there is still some conflict going on here, but they're standing strong, whoever it is, okay? Could be both of you going through some kind of, you know, energy here. This is more, this is more uh, mental energy and this is more physical, okay? Because wands is action. So this is mentally struggling, okay? And coming out of it. And this is physically, this is physical. Sometimes it can even represent, which I hope not, mental or physical abuse. I, I again, I pray not, but this is some kind of conflict going on here but it's usually physical conflict so let's hope not okay overcoming challenges of some sort you clarify the tower please for leo 
You have the King of Swords. So the King of Swords, again, is all about mental energy. Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. This king is very strong in the mind. Okay, they're powerful, powerful leaders. Female or male does not matter. Sometimes this can signify that a divorce, so, you know, a marriage may have ended. Or if it hasn't yet, it may be going to. With the death card here and the tower card, this could signify possible divorce is, is happening. And that could be some reason for some news coming in of some sort or messages of some sort. Okay, but this king is a powerful king. Okay, it doesn't have to be divorce, but it could be. This is somebody who's very strong-willed. They're quick in their thought and their action. They're, they're strategically planned. They're very powerful. They cut through all the crap. Okay, they think with their mind and not their heart, essentially. You have judgment card here. Okay, these people down here, they're awakening is what they're doing. They're waking up and it's guided by the universe, definitely here. You see the angel with the wings and the horn? These people here have been enlightened, okay? A call to their purpose. Judgment is another major arcana. So somebody's, you know, definitely had some clarity here. And it could be because they've gone within to really think about things, okay? It could be that a marriage ended, something ended, okay? With the hangman here and the judgment here, sometimes it can be that final wake-up call and decided to let go of the past and let something go. Thus, the tower and the death card. Okay, somebody thought about everything, got some clarity here with the hangman and the judgment card. They got some clarity. They realized, you know, what their wake up call was, what, what, they're, what they're meant to do. They may, you know, visit an old relationship. That may mean it's a new phase in a new relationship. I'm not seeing a new relationship here yet. I'm mostly seeing the ending of a relationship more than likely. It's an ending of the relationship here with the king of swords is what's making me feel it's a relationship and somebody's you know had to go within and that's what caused this decision because the hangman was right next to the death card okay so I'm feeling that after something was ended that they've gone within and found this this clarity and had to and is overcoming some kind of conflict mental conflict then the tower moment happened or is going to happen if it hasn't already overcoming the challenges and possible divorce that could be or talking about divorce, speaking about a new relationship, somebody has to overcome something that ended, okay? But whoever it is, they mentally stand very strong. And it's it's definitely, you know, um, clarity. And it's, it's making a decision here. And it's a call to their purpose. They've had an awakening, essentially, okay? I'm going to pull a couple more cards, and then we're going to go to the extended. For Leo, please. Leo, please clarify the judgment card for Leo. Spirit, can you? Judgment card. Wow. Oh, okay. Hero font. Could be a Taurus you're dealing with. Doesn't have to be. But this is a card for Taurus. The hero font is another major arcana. Okay. This person believes in marriage tradition. So this could have been the end of a marriage. That could have been because the marriage card has shown up here. Okay. The hero font also signifies unity. It could be the end of a union or someone's becoming very spiritual, okay? Somebody believes in marriage. Somebody believes in tradition, okay? That could be. I think with the King of Swords here, the Death card and the Tower card, I'm feeling this is the end of a marriage, the end of a unity. That could be. Because, again, we got the judgment card here, too. That's how I'm feeling. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to clarify this with the Enchanted Tarot. And your cards are still dropping out. We will get that in the extended. We'll clarify it with the Enchanted Tarot, the Romance Angels, and hopefully have enough time for the Colette Baron Reed. They're still jumping out. I thank you so much for being here. I appreciate I so very much. I can't express that enough. Uh, my appreciation for all the likes and subscribes and the shares and I hope this resonated for you if it did then go ahead and take advantage of that extended read it's at the bottom of the description box there it should be there for you right after this video thank you so much for being here and for those of you it resonated with I'll see you at the extended happy holidays merry Christmas bye bye